Lazard Hunt, and this is my brother, Walter Lazard, and this is my husband and Walter's favorite person on the planet, <laughs> Greg Hunt. Walter is probably one of the kindest and caring people you'll ever meet. Um, in 1965, when he was born, um, there wasn't as much research and studies um, on Down syndrome. So um, at the time, our parents um, were told by the doctor that Walter um, would probably never walk or talk and that his life expectancy was about 14 years. And in 2015, Walter returned 50 years old. So, so he's the best man in my, in my wedding. Um, you know, he uh, self-professed, you know, being my best friend. Uh, certainly he's very protective uh, of myself and, and of course Cindy and of course our daughter Kenzie. Um, you know, he volunteers at our church uh, as a hospitality minister and you know, I think one of the things that's great about Walter is that he's known as a hugger. Uh, so around our church, uh, he's known as Walter the, the hugger and I think people come to our church with the expectation of being hugged by Walter. You know, the funny thing about Walter is that he, ever since I met him, he always he's always loved to to write. Uh, you know, he's always loved to use a, a pen and, and pencil. Uh, so certainly, being an artist's life, I think, is maybe just a natural extension of uh, what he did for a very long time. Why he never did any sort of of painting or, or anything of that nature, but he always enjoyed, you know, having pen and paper uh, around and, and in his hands. It's a positive refuge in the fact that it allows him um, to express himself um, through art. Um, he was diagnosed with dementia about two and a half years ago, so um, his memory isn't as good as it used to be. But what I've noticed with him, um, with the time he's been here in Arts of Life, um, his memory has actually improved. Um, and through art, he's able to express himself um, in, in his paintings um, and um, in his socialization with his friends and the volunteers here, especially Angie. Um, this has definitely been a very positive um, and stimulating place for Walter. Walter and I were informed of Arts and Life through his roommate Steve, um, and his sister um, had very complimentary things to say about Arts of Life. So um, I said, no, well, let's go check it out. So when we, the day we came, I can remember that um, Caitlin was here and another coordinator was here, and they were so welcoming and um, hugging, because they hugged Walter too, because uh, as Greg stated, Walter's a hugger. Um, and then they told us a little bit about this um, studio and gave us a, a quick overview. And then we asked for a tour and uh, Dave did the tour for us. And I have to say, Dave is such a charismatic person. And he did a wonderful job of giving us a tour, telling us about the artists, about the artwork. And Walter walked away very excited um, and energized. And that was something new for us. say I was much impressed when I found out that the art studio is actually co-led by the artists so they actually vote on who's gonna be an artist here and who's gonna be in attendance and um, they are the ones who keep the place clean and they manage the place and they um, actually collaborate as a group on the different events that are going to take place here. So I thought that was very inspiring. It actually is one of the reasons why I wanted to become a board member because I definitely found that Art to Life had a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm and I wanted to be a part of this special place. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.